Hi guys, I'm Zen. I'm Danae. And this is The Chosen Ones. It's a beautiful Pacific Northwest day and we wanted to show you some color that we have on this week. Uh, starting with Dianthus uh, Barbaratus Nigrescens Sooty. So just look at this flower. It is like the deepest, darkest red you can imagine with like blackened leaves. It's, it just pops in the garden. I absolutely love this Dianthus. This is a Lysimachia Persian chocolate. We pulled one that had a nice little flower, so you can see it's a very nice ground cover, super popular, good texture. High contrast too with that Lots yellow flower. Speaking of contrast, look at this Spigelia. We are growing it in a one gallon this year. These uh, Indian pinks have like bright red buds with a yellow flower. They are probably my favorite new perennial that we grow. Spigelia little redhead, in case I didn't say the whole name. And then also on contrast, here's the Phygelis, the candy drops. This one's the red. They have these cute little flowers in there, but this also varying green texture on the foliage. Yeah, the candy drop series, we have the red. We also have the tangerine and we have a light orange. And it's kind of hard to see, but if you zoom in on the flower, there's like a little bit of yellow and like a red rim. It's really pretty inside. Hummingbirds love these. This is one of our favorites. We love a good hosta. This one's the Hadspin Blue, um, and it's just a nice blue, cool, like cool foliage color. Good for shade. Made in the shade. <laughs> this is Mimulus uh, Firewalker, and this is a new one for us this year that has been selling really, really well. Look at that beautiful flower. This is um, commonly known as monkey flower. Right. And this guy we have back here is the Lysimachia with the, the bejewelous. Um, and so this has the great foliage up there, on, or the great flowers on the top and then this foliage here. This is definitely your thriller, your height in the garden. This is draw the eye up. Could be a beautiful cut flower too. It could, yep. Um, all right, one more. I just can't help myself. So this is Punica granatum nana. This is a dwarf pomegranate. Really, really cool landscaping shrub. Um, we don't grow many shrubs, but the ones we do are amazing and you should check them out in our Fit for a King category. Oh, not yet. Do the Hootenanny. This is, this is not the Hootenanny, but that's what we affectionately call it. This It's called Chameleon. It's the Hootunia Cordata. Which is not nearly as fun. Hootenanny is um, better. Yeah. And so this is like, this is fall in the springtime. This is, this is a good, like, let's hit all of the color palettes. And it's so fragrant, although not everybody likes it. it. Smells like cilantro. It does smell like cilantro. That's a good thing. Both sides of the genetics here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.